Hey guys, thanks for joining me for the burnout today. Today is all about inner thighs. Again, a real trouble area for a lot of people. So let's try hit that. Um, away we go. So you're gonna come lying on your side. This is your starting position. One leg over, other on the leg on the bottom straight. And this one you're just lifting up and down. If you can, don't come to a full rest with that leg. So just keep it um, engaged the whole time. You're gonna feel something in here. If this is comfortable, if you need to take a break, you can take a break. Like I feel it burning already. Here, raising it. 10 more seconds on this side and we're gonna flip over and get the other side. Ooh, definitely feel that. Rest. Whew. Looks like nothing, but deadly effective. So flip over, so laying in a nice comfortable position like this, one leg over, this foot flat on the ground or something like it, bottom leg straight, a little bit out, a little bit out to the corner of the room. Here we go. So we've got 40 seconds of pulses like this. It's a bit of an awkward position, I admit, but it really gives you access to that inner, inner thigh there. Yeah, you don't even need to add weight or anything to this. This alone, super effective. Woo, it's burning up. Couple more, couple more. Stay with it if you can. Rest. Yeah. Okay, the next three exercises are all standing. So, I'm just gonna move my mat out of the way. Um, first one is a sumo squat. So you're gonna take a nice wide stance with your toes po pointing outwards. And you want your knees to track over your toes if you can, okay? Go. And here we go, full range sumo squats. Oh, I feel that already from the, the first exercise we did. Feel them engaged and working. So obviously, the lower you can come in this, the better. But even if you're just doing these little ones up here, still working, you're still gonna feel it. Whatever feels right for you, you know the deal. 10 more seconds here. Really squeeze your butt to bring you back up. It's gonna engage also your inner thighs a little bit more. Couple more, last one. Rest. Yes. Okay, side to side, uh, lunge or squat, whatever you will. A lunge, we're gonna call it a lunge. Feet, wide, wide feet still, but feet facing forward this time. And we're just gonna be skiing to each side. Really think about these inner inner thighs, like pushing you to each side, okay? So start here. So stay low the whole time if you can. You will feel it in your quads a little bit, but mostly you should feel it in that inner, inner leg area. Remember to breathe. Way down this one. Woo, it's burning up. Definitely feel that. If you need to stand up and take a little bit of the pressure off, do that and just join us when you're done. Last one. Rest. Excellent. Whew. Last interval coming up. We're back into the sumo squats, but we're really gonna like burn it out by doing sumo pulses, okay? So back into the wide stance with your toes pointing outwards, okay? So we're gonna get low into that sumo squat and sort of stay there. Go. Okay, so here, like this. So just a little bit, just a small movement up and down. We're trying to keep that contraction the whole time so we're never really relaxing, okay? If you do need to, if you do need to take some of that pressure off, come on, give your legs a little shake, come back down when you're ready. Again, really think about that muscle that's supposed to be working, visualize it. It's been proven to like really help activate those muscles and engage your, your, what am I trying to say, your muscles. Woo, six seconds. 
Rest. Oh, and there we go. We're done. That's your inner thighs. I definitely feel it. Now, don't forget to stretch. So head over, click the link, do your stretch, and you're done for the day. Congratulations, guys. See you tomorrow.